Hi, so welcome to a, a very important video. Um, I've decided to release this out to, to the public because I, I was thinking about putting it in for the paid for video pack, although it applies to so many people and I hear about this so often, um, I thought it'd be important to, to release to sort of the wider public as it were. So I get a lot of contact through the site, people, it's, it's a common problem, uh, it applies to everybody, it applies to me, it's something I have to implement into my game uh, trading regularly for a living uh, and it applies to those that are sort of starting out on two pound stakes, people that are on sort of fifties and hundreds are working their way up and, and like I say those that are making consistent money. Even those that are, that are making thousands a day trading Betfair this will apply to and, and those people will probably be more so aware of it already anyway. So it's a common problem, it's, it's not just about the market knowledge of what's happening in the market. Obviously it's a very important factor, uh, it's important to understand what's going on with the market, the market dynamics, how it's working, why it's working like that. Although there's, there's a big, big part of trading which is actually very little to do with the market. Now that's obviously mentality which is something I've spoke about on the blog, if you read the blog. Um, and I'll be releasing a lot more clips over time about that. But confidence is a huge part of it. Now, having the, the right part of uh, the right mindset and the right men mentality towards things is going to help that a huge amount. It's going to help your confidence when it's right, uh, which is obviously based on your beliefs and various other things. But I, I won't overspill into that because I haven't got time for that right now. Um, but but it all comes back to confidence. Now, if you're not confident in what you're doing, it applies to anything in life. Then, you know, well, why the hell are you doing it? If you're not confident in what you're doing, then you're less likely to succeed. And it becomes one of those self-fulfilling prophecies in life. Uh, if you're confident about something, then it's a lot more likely to go right. And adversely, if you're not confident, which you may be in your earlier stages of your trading career, um, then it's more likely to go wrong. Unfortunately, it's just the way it is. So if we work in our confidence um, and we've got certain little builders, and, and this is a confidence builder in this video, uh, what I'm, I'm going to show you in a moment, then you're more likely to, to sort of persevere and, and bring yourself on that much quicker uh, allowing yourself to make more money and um, obviously be more successful so this exercise that I'm about to show you in a second is something that I use regularly myself um, when I usually use that is sort of when I'm having a bit of a bit of a downturn really maybe if I'm having a bit of a bad day or it might even be over if I've had a, if had a not so great couple of days it's something that I'll implement into my game and, and I guarantee you, if you implement this and you actually go, whoa, hang on, I'm going to take this on board, stop what you're doing and actually do it, then you'll find that it will have a big difference on your, your results. So, like I said, if, if, it's go, if things are not going quite right or maybe even I'm feeling a bit, you know, I'm not so confident in, in what's going on and how things are working, then I use this to build it back up for myself. Trust me, it really works. So if you watch this now um, and, and try to implement it, I'd say implement it in your next 10 markets. See how it goes, bear it in mind, uh, and then next time you find yourself on a bit of a down patch, implement it again. And it's so obvious because if you look at your profit and loss, race for race, over your Betfair results, then you will see when you implement it at times. It's very obvious from self. If I've had, you know, you might see I'm, I've maybe lost in a couple of markets and only made about five or ten quid and a few. And then I implement this gradually. It might not be bigger results straight away, but it starts to build and you see that consistency, that consistency that everybody wants so badly just comes back to you. And it's, it's such a strange thing, but I'm, I'm telling you, it's, it's really important. So, if you think about a market, and you can see the market in front of us now, there's literally thousands of opportunities to trade. The market's bouncing up and down, tick for tick. Sometimes the prices are swinging. Sometimes they're just staying steady, and, there's, and then the fill rate's taking over, and there's opportunities to get in on the, the both the back and lay sides of the book for profit. Now, if you think, at the moment, this market here, what, we've got 300 grand traded on this market. There's only a couple of minutes left to post. But out of that 300 grand, if you can get one hundred pounds matched either side on say for example that uh, that second favorite there at seven point six and seven point eight you're going to get a couple of quid profit if you get two hundred quid through you're going to get close to a fiver you know you're going to get like four quid or something like that so we need to put ourselves in a position whereby we're more more confident than not um, and what we're, what we're going to aim to do is just try and get one trade through the market 
just for this one race that's all I care about I'm not worried about the profit I'm not worried about trading it like you will have seen me do in other videos where I've got stakes stacked either side of the book lots of money's being filled you know and, and I'm making big greens sort of 50 quid plus and that sort of stuff completely forget all that we're almost going back to scratch a bit so and this is what I do when it goes a little bit wrong for me and I'm not feeling great about things so I lower my stakes for a start so in this video I'll just use 100 pound stakes now I can see that a lot of money's just dropped in there so there's obviously an opportunity within that market but there, there was many 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 opportunities before you can see the prices have moved and all we need to do is take one tick or maybe even two if it's going if it's going really for us at that point in time when we're in the market and then we're just going to keep that profit and that's all we're going to do we're going to aim to get one decent trade through the market we're going to try and be as positive about this as we can and if it goes wrong we'll close out for a loss an absolute most must if we've closed if we've made one loss we'll allow ourselves one more trade now what you don't want to do is pile a load more pressure on yourself because you're only allowing yourself this one extra trade uh, this one trade in this market now, I want to be aware of uh, the post time starting here because I've been I've been gibbering on a bit so I'm just going to match five quid for a five you know for 14p loss just so I can see on the bet for uh, live video hopefully I won't go off bang on time it doesn't look like they will so what I'm going to look to do is get one trade through the market for 100 quid when I see the opportunity arise in the market now you might be going right now well that's easy because you can see the opportunity and, and unfortunately it's probably a little bit easier for me however what I'm saying to you is only enter when you're feeling really confident now I can see that this price here, 6.4, is fairly solid near the start, and I I felt I just felt at that particular point in time. There we go, three pounds. So three pounds for a hundred pound stake through the market. I just felt at that particular point in time there wasn't a huge amount of money either side on the book. I could see that the price was quite stagnant and the price still hasn't really moved. You can just see there. I just thought just for that split second there's an opportunity where I can just plug in a hundred quid either side of the book. So that's exactly what I did. Now, three pounds not a huge result, not by any not by any measure. I mean, it, it might be a decent result for some people, but I now feel good because I've I've made a profitable trade there. I just want to mute the volume on the uh, the live video before this goes off. So I'm I'm in a position where I feel a little bit more confident. Now it's not huge confidence because it's only three pound, but it is it is it is positive. Uh, and the, tra the, the, the whole important thing about this confidence stuff is trying to view it in the, in the right manner because if, if it had been a loss you need to kind of view it as it wasn't you know I'm, I should not be feeling bad for having that loss because that is not actually a loss that is no reflection on me it's not a reflection on my trading it's just a case of what happened at that point in time and I've actually learned from it so you are not your losses you're not your mistakes you are everything you've gained, the experience you've learned from those mistakes, why you made them mistakes. Anyhow, so that that's just a, a, a small small scout through the market, one stake, there we go, straight through, and only at the opportunity we felt that it would definitely go through. Now I'm just going to persevere and do this a few races, one after another. And by the time I get to sort of maybe the third, fourth, fifth race, and I look at my profit and loss, and it goes £3, £3, £6, £3, yeah, I'm going to be like, oh sweet, it's... I don't know, it's 20 quid, whatever it is. Um, and it depends on what level you're at, how you feel about that. But the consistency starts to trigger that confidence within me. And once I get that confidence going, that's when it starts to, that's when things start to free roll. And I'm sure you can identify with that if you've been trading for any amount of time um, and you've and you've had some profits on your way. You start to you, you build on that confidence, exactly what this is a confidence build.